And if you were starting out again, like today, mm-hmm. and you had a, sort of most of the knowledge of what you had now, what sort of things would you do to help you gain consistency? I, I think the m- most important knowledge I have now over then is, is my mentality and psychology. And I'll go into them a bit separately, right? Um, so mentality-wise, I think going into trading, um, when, I, when I started, I always was looking for a strategy, you know, a strategy, a system, how to make money. Biggest breakthrough I had was tra- trading is a skill. And it's sometimes hard to really identify it. Um, so, you know, nowadays I give people a sports analogy that if you were, um, you know, because tr- sports is obviously s- completely skill based, right? So if you were going to become a, you know, professional basketball player, right? You know, what, what would you be doing, right? You'd, you'd straight away think about, okay, you'd get a coach, you'd, you'd um, or at the very least, you start getting research on how to become a better player. Um, and you'd start practicing, right, in, you know, some very, very basic stuff, whether it's dribbling or just straight away, you know, free throws, whatever it is, right? You're not thinking about trying to win. You're not thinking about the NBA. Now, the crazy part about trading is, it doesn't matter how new you are, the only place you can play is the NBA, right? And, and people need to realize that. It's like this market, there's no, here's, here's where the not-so-good people play. There's one market, and most of the people in this market are, you know, the, some of the smartest, you know, most brilliant people in the world who's done this for decades on, right? So day one, you're competing here. So thinking about how to win is crazy talk, right? And or focusing on it. Yeah, you want to win, but if that's all you're trying to do, you're missing how you should be training. You're missing, you know, skills. And there is so much skills, you know, market reading, flow reading, pattern recognition, execution speed, accuracy, um, and obviously psychology, which I'll go into a bit later, you know, that's, these are all skills you need to develop. And no matter how good your strategy is, it's pretty useless without skills. Um, and, and so that is how I would go back and tell myself to approach trading. You know, don't come in here thinking you're, you're here to, you know, sort of just straight away win or make money. You're here to develop a set of skills. And if you trade it like that, then you'll probably practice in a correct way. You know, you look at your, your, you know, in the beginning, you look at your winners and your failed trades in a critical way. You know, what could I have done better there? The outcome's completely irrelevant. 